as part of its efforts geared towards poverty alleviation in Nigeria. Jai's Charity and Development Foundation asserted itself with the responsibility of helping the needy through zakats received from the privileged individuals in the society. To this end, the foundation held its seventh zakat distribution ceremony at the Beleke Smith Memorial Central Mosque Hall, Surulere, Lagos, on Wednesday, June 15, 2022. Over the past six years, Jai's Foundation has been distributing zakat in the center of excellence, i.e. Lagos State, courtesy of our zakat payers who reposed confidence and trust in us to do justice by distributing their zakat with the utmost taqwa, taqwa line, God consciousness. As mentioned by the chairman of the board of trustees of our foundation, we have already disbursed 3,788,000 naira for medical surgeries and livelihood support of over three beneficiaries on the request of some of our zakat payers, while the balance of 5,212,000 naira is being disbursed today to 39 beneficiaries. Of this number, we are set to distribute two sewing machines, three industrial machines, one blood pressure machine, one deep, deep freezer which has just been brought in, and one laser jet MFP 137 FNW monochrome printer. While we have made direct payments to a, a hospital for hernia surgery for two beneficiaries. Apart from medical and economic empowerment support, other thematic areas covered by the foundation include education, accommodation, debt relief, and humanitarian support. From the foregoing, it is gratifying to note that zakat, which is one of the instrumentalities of Islamic social finance, which is a subset of Islamic finance, is a potent tool to mitigate poverty, reduce inequality gap in the society, and economically empower the poor and needy people. About 80 persons benefited from a total of 9 million Naira Zakat fund. Yourself will call me Zakat Payer, the very nearest picture. And that's Baraka. The fund was disbursed to help individuals with health related issues, begging medical attention, and help in solving the problems of the less privileged in the society. As part of the mandates of the foundation, we are committed to improving the precarious situation of the have nots amongst us by giving voice to the voiceless, hope to the hopeless victims of this harsh economic situation, with a view to inspiring them to the path of financial independence and shared prosperity. Equipment such as sewing machines, deep freezer, monochrome printer, amongst others, were presented to the selected beneficiaries and fund was disbursed according to individuals' requests. Look at the, the level of poverty in our country. SubhanAllah. Year in, year out, what are we seeing? More and more and more people are falling below the poverty line. Why are we, or why are they falling below the poverty line? Simply put, because we are refusing to practice Islam the way and manner Allah ordained us to practice. Our thoughts and prayers are for those of us who will benefit from this, that they may have the mindset, the agility, the wisdom, the takawa to be able to nurture the business so that even if they don't pay the cut, let them also be able to earn a living for themselves and their family. Congratulations, Fatima. That is a fulfilling to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prosper you and your people. May Allah make it beneficial to you spiritually, economically, and all our Zakat prayers and charity channels and the positives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be what you are going to do. So you understand that this is symbolic and that you cannot touch it. You can only contribute to multiply it and multiply it. 
I was given industrial sewing machine for sewing clothes and I was very happy when I was given. It's a to them. I really appreciate it. As I come like I and may Almighty Allah bless them and we there be two places inshallah. I was given industrial sewing machine. That's my fishy Kiyola <laughs> I was given a cash prize of 100,000 to assist my business to grow more because that as it is, it's not really going as expected. So it's just meant for um, to empower me to make the business to grow more than it is now. And I'm, I felt very grateful and honored to be to be given the money and I pray to Allah to make it easy for me to spend it judiciously. According to the foundation, this event is the start of a chain distribution that will see about 70 million naira distributed across five other states in Nigeria, including the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. What we have done today is a manifestation of the fact that uh, one of the instrumentalities of uh, Islamic finance, particularly social finance, which is zakat, is we can use zakat to mitigate poverty, we can use zakat to eradicate poverty, we can use zakat also to enable those who are suffering you know, from one hardship or the other to, you know, to get relief. And this is the reason why zakat that we collected this year, we are, you know, we are disbursing them to these beneficiaries. So that for them, it is going to be a trust. Trust in the fact that they requested for a particular kind of support and that support has been met today. So now the ball is in their court to ensure that they put the zakat into judicious use, especially to meet the purpose for which they requested for that zakat. When they do this, it becomes a win-win for the zakat payer and then to the zakat you know, you know, receiver and of course to the zakat administrator that has done justice to the distribution today. I do you know, use my voice, loud voice, to call on those of us who Allah has endowed with wealth to undouble, to calculate this zakat and give it once in a year 2.5% and you are left with 90% uh, uh, or 97%, 97.5% of your wealth. What, what, what is 2.5? So we should endeavor to pay, we should endeavor to calculate and to pay. And let us start the payment of the zakat with our immediate families, with the localities where we make the money. So the principle of derivation started in Islam because I live in Lagos, I make my money in Lagos, so this is where I should calculate and pay my zakat so that I can help the needy. A lot of people are looking for funds for them to be able to start their business or to improve on their business. So the zakat that is given to uh, some of these beneficiaries is to help them to improve their business or to start a business and in some cases uh, to help for those that are not feeling too well. Uh, in some cases it is to help to pay for rent. So there are different things that are just supposed to uplift people economically. So as long as people appreciate what has been given to them and they use it for the purpose that is intended, we believe that we'll be reducing poverty in the country. The gesture by Jai's Charity and Development Foundation is a clear indication that the foundation is unrelenting in lending helping ends to the needy without religious sentiment or discrimination aimed at reducing crime rates and contributing to the development of the society.